So I'm demonstrating here uh, the noise output of Tinsy. Uh, without the cable plugged in, with a neon lamp here, surely we're picking up some of that. Turn off the lamp, almost no difference. Now we're gonna take that cable, plug it into the Nexus 7, and we still have some noise. It's possible that once I start playback, the output will be on a low impedance. I'm gonna find Pandora here. But actually, no, this is apparently the lowest impedance that I get out of it. Um, hit play. No. Oh. So now the output is at low impedance. You can see the drastic reduction in noise. So once I touch the play button, impedance drops, oh, impedance goes high again, and again I, I, I expect that at high impedance we will hear noise, that's totally expected. Let's hit play. Now, it's playing, look at the volume, it's almost at the bottom, now listen to that. sounds to me like distortion on the music instead of music buried in noise. I will turn it down and then up. Okay, we hear that noise, whatever that is. Now you can hear that noise being, I guess, modulated down by the music. Let's go up some more. Now there's less noise. Go up again. So, this noise is um, clearly much higher than it should be because I turned the volume to a hundred, and the gain of this uh, amplifier here is quite high. So, on normal operation, that noise is not going to be. Uh, obvious or audible, but it's still there. Now, my, my question is, why should that noise have that quality? Um, and examples that I can come up with is taking a file and quantizing it really roughly at the bottom end, and that would produce sound that would be pretty much exactly like what you hear there. Um, and why does it have that particular pitch, high pitch whine? One thing that we can try here we can try pa the power source replacing it by something that doesn't have hash. Obviously, a laptop is gonna have some hash in it. Now this power source probably has more hum than hash. And my output has gone back to high impedance, so I'm gonna start playback again. Okay. And so we're back to the same actually here, a different power source. Volume zero. Okay, I'm gonna go one click up. So my question is, where is that quantization noise? If it is quantization noise, where is it happening? Is it? Is it because there's poor resolution on the filters? Is it because there's poor resolution at the input? So if we replace the application that I'm using right now, I'm using the dynamic filter uh, sketch. With the pass-through, you, you still hear exactly the same results. Um, that to me tells me that the filter didn't cause that noise. Something else is causing that noise and I don't know what that is. Um, another thing we can do is we can turn up the input level um, for that, I have to modify the library. If I turn up the input level, then um, that noise is reduced, although the reason seems to be that I'm taking the self-noise of the Nexus 7 and bringing it into the picture f for, and when I say into the picture, I'm going to say for exciting the LSBs of the analog to digital converter, although, again, that part is conjecture. I don't know if the ADC 
resolution is poor or if there's some internal stage of the codec that's doing something. Also, the quality of that hash and the frequency of that hash um, wasn't a, a, a product of the computer that I was using to power it because I'm using that power source now and that power source uh, produces the same result. So that hash is probably some byproduct of the way that the chip is clocked or some byproduct of the way that the chip is, is powered. And, you know, it's, it's probably not, um, you know, like a, this, the cleanest ground plane and all that stuff here. And I can expect some of that. It's mostly that the quality of that noise that, that uh, seems to me a bit unusual. 